Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you guys through my birthday vlog. So the morning of my birthday around 5am, I randomly woke up and I realised that my boyfriend wasn't sleeping next to me. So I was so confused I went to the living room and I saw him and he looked so startled and he was like, oh go back to sleep and um, I kind of got the hint so I went back to sleep and then I woke up a few hours later and found the surprise. So yeah, it was cute that he was planning it ahead and you know waking up early to do that for me hey guys today is my birthday and i'm gonna be trying on some makeup and this is gonna be my first time doing my full-on makeup since i recovered from tsw and it's been over a year since i've done this so i'm feeling excited and nervous at the same time i just went through my old makeup bag and i filmed that on tiktok so if you guys are interested go to tiktok i'll link it down below but i had this whole box of makeup and i went through the things to see if i can find any that i can use and i found some a lot of them i don't think i can use now because they've got like chemicals in them like they're just like normal makeup um just makeup from when I wasn't really mindful of what products to use so I found these unopened foundation these are a brand from Japan it's called D program and it's a sensitive skin brand so backstory of this I got into makeup when I was like 14 and I used to do like eye makeups and my lipstick and like just simple things like that and then when I was about 18 I started trying on foundations but I found that like all the foundations that I was using it would cause my skin to break out and I just thought maybe foundations aren't a thing for me like as much as I want to try them my skin's not loving it and I pretty much gave up and then fast forward to 19 or 20 i went back to japan because they have this traditional thing where when you turn 20 you wear a kimono get everything done and you take photos it's called the coming of age ceremony and i went to japan to get that done and you, you do a full glam up and that's when i decided i'm gonna look for a foundation that's gonna work for me i went through all the stores in japan and found this brand and it said it was for sensitive skin. It's like actually good for your skin. It doesn't do much damage or at all. So I gave it a try and it worked perfectly. My skin did not break out at all for the first time ever after putting on foundation and it looked flawless. So I had lots of stocks left from when I was stocking up on the D program foundation. I think this foundation will be the perfect one to reintroduce my skin with makeup so i'm so glad i found this in my makeup bag um yeah and i'm gonna combine that up with some of the things i bought from movie makeup i used to wear contacts every day like two years ago and i've only been wearing glasses the past year okay that didn't take too long my eyesight's really bad and i cannot see a thing without my glasses so Okay, this is my before. I'm gonna use the primer first. This is brand new, like I haven't opened it. <sighs> I'm feeling nervous. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm not going anywhere till tonight, but I wanted to try the makeup at home so that if there is anything that happens, I can take it off. So tonight I'm going to a comedy show. I've never been to one. Like I've been to one in Japan, but I feel like it's going to be pretty different. So it's a stand-up comedy show. I'm so excited. I, I'm in Melbourne now and We've actually been sick since we've come here. Like the first day we were here, we were both, me and my boyfriend, we were both sick and we couldn't really do anything. And then after that, we recovered, but then my boyfriend got sick again after a couple of weeks. So we really haven't been around Melbourne, like exploring 
we've been here for three weeks because today is a thursday um my boyfriend's got work and i've got stuff to do so we're going on a birthday date on saturday which is in two days we're gonna go watch a movie and we're gonna get permanent bracelets i've been seeing that around social media and i told him that i want to get like matching bracelets um with him and it's permanent let's put this on my face i'm so scared I'm excited and scared at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my hand first. Okay, I'm gonna try my forehead first. Dab, dab, dab. So far, so good. You love me and I sang this song. I sang this song. I had an old time song. I would usually do it from my cheeks, but I'm chickening out. Let's just wait for it. I'm going for it. It's okay, I can take it off if there's something wrong. Oh my god, my skin looks so good. It's like I've got an airbrushed look. I haven't seen this in a long time. I I used to love makeup, like I still do. I love makeup. I enjoy doing makeup so much and hence all of that box of makeup um, I showed you guys on TikTok. This was one of the things I was dreaming of doing while I was dealing with TSW. Like it was my dream to get back into makeup again. I'm so happy the day has come. Like I would literally write on my journals about how I wanted to do my makeup again and I would write as if that day was the day I was finally getting back into doing makeup and the day is actually here today and it feels surreal. I'm so happy. Let's put on this blush. It's a pretty dark blush so I'm kind of thinking it's more towards like a bronzer. I'm going for a natural look, so don't want to overdo everything. Might make my eyebrows a bit longer. Oh my god, I did this one so dark. This one is so much darker. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Oh god, it's been so long since I curled my lashes. I have such short eyelashes and I don't have much. <laughs> I'm thinking I either put my falsies on or I just stick with mascara. But this one's just a brand that I used to use before and it's not like a chemical free brand so you know, I might just put a little bit on just a little bit on the tips so it doesn't really touch my eye This will do for today for the testing. Or oh, we'll do lipstick. This is by Rare Beauty, and I bought this when this came out, and my lips didn't react to them. So I love this color. It's like a pink on the purplish side, and I love it. And this one's by Mugu Makeup. This is. A clear lip gloss. Okay, so this is the complete look. I can't believe I'm wearing makeup. Oh my gosh, I feel pretty. Honestly, 
I missed it so much. Um, a few weeks ago, I did a bit of makeup, just like my eyeliner, eyebrows and lipstick, but I didn't put on any foundation and I showed that in my other video. This is the first time I got foundation on in a whole year, over a year. Okay, I'll see you guys later. So about six hours later, my skin was perfectly fine, my makeup was perfectly fine, so we headed to the comedy show. I was so happy to get dressed up and finally go on a date with him because we haven't been able to really go out together because we've been sick, I've been going through TSW, so it was really, really nice. Two days later, it is a Saturday, we are headed to get our permanent jewellery done. We're so excited. Look at the autumn trees in the city of Melbourne, it's so pretty. After we got our bracelets done, we rode on these electric scooters and headed to the cinema. I noticed that Melbourne has a lot of these electric scooters and people ride them just casually, but I've never seen one in Sydney, so it was our first time riding the scooter and it was so much fun. When we got to the movies, we watched a Japanese movie called Suzume and we also had lunch while watching the movie. After the movie, we went to the famous library in Melbourne. It was our first time coming here. I've seen so many photos on Instagram, so it was nice to actually be here and see it with my own eyes. And on our way back home, we found this vintage photo booth and we just had to take it. It was so much fun. It was an actual vintage photo booth and it was such a perfect way to end our date. We just got home from watching a movie and exploring the city. We got our permanent bracelets and it was such a fun day. We actually got, um, took a photo booth. I showed you guys, but let me show you the photos. Okay, so what happened with this first shot was we put in the coins and then it was a really like vintage photo booth. So we didn't have any like touch screens or it, like any screens at all telling us the instructions and it just took a shot. <laughs> so that's why we're... We look so puzzled and then the second shot and the third shot. I think it's so cute and it's a nice memory. <laughs> it was such a fun day. That's the end of my birthday weekend. I hope you guys liked the vlog and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!